Shane Van Boning, the South Dakota kid, is one of the greatest pool players of all time. This video shows shots and moments that demonstrate why as a fitting tribute. Shane is undoubtedly the best breaker the game has ever seen. He generates good power with minimal effort and his accuracy and consistency are unparalleled. Here, he uses a cut break from the box to pocket the one on the side and carry him into the nine for a golden break win. Here's a 10 ball break where he makes five balls. He had hit for this match. Now he took a lot of velocity off that break, Danny. Look, he look how he controlled the white. Look how many balls he pocketed. Five balls on the break. Here's another. He makes six balls on this break. That turns a game of 10 ball into an easy game of four ball. Shane has had many great shots and moments in the annual Moscone Cup, matching up the best players from the U.S. against the best players from Europe. Here's a difficult jump executed perfectly. Well, the Moscone Cup's on the line right now. This shot could make the difference. Just got to nip this cue ball. What a shot from Van Boney when he needed it. Take a look. Oh, that was always going in from the moment he struck that cue ball. Here's a carom combo and kiss, making two balls. Tough shot for Mr. Van Boning. He got the two, got the one as well. A lot happened with this shot. He got the intended two, made the one in the corner as well. He follows that up with a combo kiss through a hanger for the win. there. But take a look. The nine ball just refuses to stop and keeps rolling right into the pocket for the win. Here's a great carom shot with the bridge for a win. The shot of a champion. The world champion. Here's a two-way combo kiss shot making both balls. He also gets shape on the next ball. And here's another two-way shot, banking the two to kiss in off the five with a carom into the nine for the win. Oh, what Team USA wins the last match of the day. Here are some more impressive shots from other tournaments over the years. Here's a follow carom for the win. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> Look at there. Oh, shot. Here's an impressive Corey dual like full table length draw through traffic for perfect shape up table. You get it perfect because it's just not. Oh, look at that shot. Wow. <laughs> Great wow. Shot. Okay. That's pro grade draw stroke right there. Never touched the rail with the cue ball. <laughs> Here's a jump shot in the middle of the table using a dart stroke and two stacked mechanical bridges. Here's a lucky but impressive two rail kick. Two rails okay. to it. He's going to hit it. Wow, and he made he it. Made the ball. <laughs> Speaking of getting lucky, Efren isn't the only player who can make Z shots on occasion. Oh, two rails. Hey, now that. He called that yeah, shot. Of course he did. Of course he did. It was obvious. <laughs> Here's another lucky shot a jump two rail bank combo, but he calls it. but you need to be good to make lucky shots like this. Here's another where Shane didn't have a look at the one playing 10 ball and he calls the 10 in the corner. He manages to hop the cue ball off the cushion over the three to carom off the one to pocket the 10 for the win. Here's one of Shane's greatest shots of all time. He is playing nine balls shooting at the two. The four is hanging in the corner and the three and six are tied up. He conceives a great plan to carry him into the four while banking the two into the cluster for a breakout that allows him to run the rack. Brilliant idea and perfect execution. With surgical precision, he pockets the two into the partially blocked corner and gets perfect shape on the 3-6 combo. This leads to a big win. Evil, right? It's taken him a good deal longer than it looked as though it might, but Shane Van Boning has made it to the hill. He's one rack away 
from his third appearance in a World Championship final. Shane's favorite game is Bar Box 8 Ball, since it requires good patterns, finesse speed and cue ball control, smart cluster breaking, and creativity. Here's a rare, perfect match where he did not miss one shot in a race to nine. Amazingly, his opponent didn't miss any shots either. Shane wins the lag and starts his runout clinic. His break was very effective. And whenever problems came up, he masterfully dealt with them. Here, he kissed the 11 off the 10 to free it up. He also had the cue ball on a string throughout the match. Here, he uses a nice bump to improve a ball and hold for shape. The patterns he chose always made things look easy. This was the closest he got to making a mistake, flirting with a scratch and leaving a tough shot. But he pockets the ball and plays a nice rail first kiss shot to open the rack. Here's the only mistake by Roberts the entire match. The cue ball gets kissed and a little unintentional side spin causes an unlucky scratch. With ball in hand and only four solids remaining, the runout is a piece of cake, especially with his smart pattern choice. Here's the only break that left a cluster in the rack area. He leaves a perfect angle on the two to attempt to free the eight, but it doesn't quite work. He tries to free the eight again off the five and leaves the cue ball bad. He needs to let the cue ball loose to pocket the one and gets a little lucky with the leave. He later gets beneath the eight to pocket it in the side for the win. Here's a good position shot, thinning the six in the side with inside spin to head straight across the table. He later plays a good finesse shot to hold for the one or two, leading to the runout. On the hill, he hits another good break. There's a cluster of stripes in the rack area, but the five has a pocket. He smartly gets shape on the five early so it doesn't cause problems later. That good position play gives him the match victory. Nine racks in a row. Shane what a Bonnie. performance. Wow. Well oh deserved my hand. God. Oh well my deserved God. hand. That is a champion right there. Again, a perfect match with no misses and nine consecutive break and runs, 15 counting his opponents. Recently, Shane showed tremendous heart and fight in one of his best comebacks of all time. Mika Eminen was on the hill with a 10-3, seven-game lead. Shane started this comeback with a good safety. As always, his break was accurate and consistent. He made the wing ball in the corner almost every time. He also often made the one in the side. He didn't always control the cue ball perfectly on the break, but he often had a shot anyway. This one wasn't easy, but he was determined. And any time he got out of line, he recovered. After a five pack of break and runs, he had to play a safety, which he executed well. A nice breakout shot later kept his comeback going. He again makes the wing ball and the one. He gets an unlucky kiss on the cue ball, but has an easy starting shot on the three. When he pockets the six, he almost caroms in the nine, but the nine gets in the way. But he hits an impressive long range jump to join Mika on the hill for the case game of the match. He hits another good break, pocketing three balls. He has a tough starting shot on the one, but he rises to the occasion. 
As we will see in the next section, this was a huge match, leading to a chance at a world championship. He used everything he had on that comeback and must have felt relief, pride, and exhaustion as he collapsed into his chair. Shane has won many titles over the years, but one of his most impressive feats is his five U.S. Open wins, three of them in consecutive years. Here's the end of his fifth victory. Oh. Oh, nice shot there. Nine ball on a 20. And that is it. <laughs> This was a big moment for Shane, with his victory tying him with Earl Strickland for the great honor of five record U.S. Open titles. <laughs> He's holding up a five. Another huge title was made possible by his comeback win against Mika in the previous section. He eventually made it to the finals, which he won. Shane Van Boning. <laughs> this was another great moment for Shane, since he had lost the World Championship title match two times previously. His destiny is fulfilled. Shane. Winning his second world championship was very important to him. Shane, this means so much to you, doesn't it? You're finally the world champion. This is a special day for me. Really. Greatest new career? Uh, the biggest moment in my career, I mean, for sure. I mean, I won five US Opens, and uh, this is the day. I dreamed to be the world champion. And um, today is the moment. I hope you enjoyed this tribute to the South Dakota Kid. If you want to watch any of the full-length source videos, they can be found via links in the video description or pinned comment. I'm sure we'll see much more from Shane in the remainder of his career. I look forward to doing a part two video like this in the future. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.